welcome to another video here on your, on your tech shield and in today's video we are go going to be re talking about the Google IO 16 and I'm going to talk about what's hot in, the, in this latest IO so first let's begin with a big update on the Google now or well, let's say the Siri killer which is named Google Assistant so Google Assistant is an assistant that you can have an actual conversation with it can book for you restaurant tables via open table or by cinema tickets and much much more Google Assistant has a full context of where you are or what you are asking and your search history so it can get better results for you the CEO of Google Sundar Pachai mentioned that this is something mainly tailored to you and from my perspective right now Google Assistant was 100 uh, times bigger and better than Siri also Google has introduced two apps Allo and Duo Allo is a messaging app which has a uh, Google Assistant built in and a bunch of features like smart replies and the ability to play games like Facebook in chat but this time with Google Assistant not with your friends own version of FaceTime so the company built a video chat called duo but unlike FaceTime which only works on the Apple devices duo is compatible with with iOS and Android devices so as long as they have its app installed of course all right all right. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Dad. Bye. <laughs> it also varies from face FaceTime with its knock knock feature, which gives users a preview of the video call they are going about to enter before they actually accept it. Dual uses a technology created by the same founders of WebRTC to make it that simple and blazing fast way to start chats and it is excellent for people who have a slow connection. Next we have the Google Home. Google Home is a voice or a quote a voice activated home product that allows you to and your family to get answers from Google, stream music, and manage everyday tasks through integration of Google Assistant. The next one is Android Wear 2.0. The biggest update with this version of the system is that it will it will support native apps, which means that you will able to run, for example, Spotify while you are running, even if you if your uh, phone is turned off. In addition, these apps will have the ability to add information to your watch faces. So of complications on the Apple Watch but with, with a much better mechanism and some other enhancements for example you will have a keyboard for messaging etc another major deal was made about Android is that Android and smartphones will be optimized for VR through daydream and we are talking here about a latency under than 25 milliseconds there will also be a standalone VR headsets with the inclusion of a controller that can track whatever you are pointing at and also you don't need to exit the VR environment because you will have access to a native version of Play Store enhanced for VR with a full version applications will be enhanced and content also will be enhanced for VR in a very cool way and now to the main dish Android N Android N now comes with a free support for Vulkan for gaming which is great and also in the inclusion of the JIT compiler which now allows to install apps 75 faster uh, percent faster and 50 percent less on the space taken by apps that to the JIT compiler Android is upgraded screen now is gone so no more waiting when you upgrade your version from now on Android N and also focuses on encryption as well as productivity mainly mainly trying to make the life experience much better for the user when interacting with Android we also have multi window support and picture-in-picture -picture, even though apparently this is only coming to Android TV which is I think weird we also have the ability to quickly reply to messaging from the notification tray without opening the app and just a lot of different little little things like for example being able to switch between applications by simply double tapping the multitasking button obviously multi window support and this and other things and like marshmallow lollipop changing the operating system is something you don't want to wait out so you can uh, download the uh, 
Android and developer preview. I will link it in the description. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. See you in another one. Peace out.